My daughter approves. She thinks it's awesome. All I can see right now is the Cookie Monster. So I've had this idea for a little while now. I need a headliner. I have no headliner in there. Now, not everybody's gonna like my choice of headliner, but I like it and that's all that really matters. We got some fluffy blue fabric here we're gonna glue up. I mean, the car is blue, so it, it kind of works and it matches, it's all good. Uh, we got some 3M headliner adhesive. That's what I'm gonna try. It takes about an hour to dry. Never used it before. It's supposed to be heat resistant, which is really important for the headliner because she gets hot on the roof out in that summer sun. So my wife's out here to give me a hand. She's over there doing something. And then uh, we're gonna try and get this in. We'll see how she goes. So I'm actually reading the instructions and I want you to observe what I observed. This is called headliner adhesive. And in the directions it says, may not hold materials in vertical or overhead applications. It's headliner adhesive. It's supposed to hold materials in overhead locations. Come on 3M. Do better, stop giving yourself an out. We're gonna try it and see. So we got this all marked out. We need to cut about, I don't know, eight inches or so off the end of it. It's about an inch short width wise, but we can make that work, that's no big deal. So as soon as my wife gets her all cut up here, we're gonna spray her down with some glue. Go spray the inside with some glue and just stick it up there, I guess. So the theory here is you gotta spray this on in overlapping layers. I'm probably gonna make a mess. I'm gonna try cardboard here so I can get glue over everything I don't want it over. Oh, I didn't think this part through. I'm not sure how we're gonna get that in the car without gluing it to itself. I wonder if we should have done like sections at a time. This is gonna be a disaster. I'm gonna start pressing it up. Make sure you're doing it right where you left off so you don't have no sags in it, you know? Make sure you're pushing firmly on it. <laughs> Looks pretty rad. All I can see right now is the cookie monster. <laughs> there's before and there's after. How freaking awesome is that? Hell yes. I can't wait to get the front half in. It's gonna look so cool. That actually worked way better than I expected to get that in there. I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm hoping the front goes just as easy. We are gonna change up how we do it a little bit. My wife's cutting the next piece right now. We're just gonna spray the entire inside here and then just like a six inch strip on the fabric and we're just gonna get it in here and get the fabric up and then we'll spray the fabric in here. That way we're not folding it in on itself and creasing it and having it glue to itself, which was going on the last time. And we're gonna give it a go. It's so cool. Well, we got her done. My daughter approves, she thinks it's awesome. Yeah, I think it's freaking sweet. I also got little neck protectors for my seat belts because these seat belts rub on my neck and I hate that. So those even match. <sighs> my wife looks like she's putting a dash pad up here. <laughs> she wants me to fluff the entire car. Not the entire car. Oh, no. Just the roof, the doors, the dash, the entire car. I think it looks good though. I'm not gonna do the dash though because I'm afraid it's gonna reflect off the windshield and make it a pain to see, but we'll see what time does. Hell yeah, now I gotta get my trailer wiring done so I can tow a trailer with this pig. It's gonna be so awesome.